Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pella, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia, starting out on the Saturday morning with a scripture reading from Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 through 20. You are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything, but is thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it under the bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. For truly I tell you, until heaven and earth pass away, not one letter, not one stroke of a leather will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And that is our reading this morning, again from Matthew chapter 5. Please join me now for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear God, as we pray now, we thank you today for your endless goodness to us. Thank you for all the skills and talents that you have given us and for everyone that is part of uh, of the wonderful community in which we each live in. We pray that you would give us great wisdom and insight as we go out into this world today and make decisions about how we interact with others in the best ways possible. We open our hearts to you, Lord, and invite your Holy Spirit to be present amongst us as we serve you today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. Hope you all have a wonderful Saturday today.